Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. I didn't know what my favorite color was for the first like 20 years of my life. Really? Yeah. What is it? Little Orange. Z. Uh, I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> okay. Pop it one. I'm currently holding in a fart. We'll see how it goes. I have to sit next to you. I'm sorry. I think I'm done with backpacks. I don't think I'm ever going to wear one again. Fair enough. What do you think? Unbelievable. What do you mean? That's a good point. I'm, what do you need a backpack for? I'll just hold it. What about hiking? Hold, hold what? Oh, okay, you've got me. <laughs> <laughs> Conversation over. Oh, he's got me there. Going well to done. school, hiking, you know. It's because you don't go outside anymore, is it? No, I just don't really... Well, I don't go to uni, which I feel like is where I used to wear a backpack a lot. Oh, yeah. Yes. I've been hiking more recently. Yeah, how you like oh, I went on holidays, so it's and like more hiking. places to hike. Uh, didn't didn't fully complete the main hike. It was <laughs> fucked up. I was like, oh yeah, I sit in my room all day, every day, editing Smash Bros videos. I reckon I can do a difficult level <laughs> hike. I no. Definitely couldn't. I was also mad sick when we tried. So it got like, I want to say a third of the way up and was about to quit. Saw some sheep. Yeah. Went that little bit extra to take Ooh. a photo of the sheep and then nice. fucked off. Is there a lot yeah. of sheep in New Zealand, like they say? Yeah. Yeah, there is. It's not a joke. But there's actually more sheep in Australia per pe- per person. So, like, if you want a good sheep per person ratio, Which Australia's yeah, Australia's the place to go. Oh, okay, interesting. Wow. More, more fish in the sea, am I right? Yeah. You see them all in New Zealand? Because where else are they going to go? Yeah, there's, it's a pretty small place. Yeah. Although, yeah, and they're all on the mountains, too. How many sheep How are living, like... Well, there's a lot of questions flying around. While I was flying home from Sydney, <laughs> by the way, we're, by the way, we're back in Perth. You can see the studio if you're watching the video right Yoo-hoo. now. We're back in Perth. On the way home, uh, on the plane, I was looking out the window. I was like, "Damn, farms are really big." Yeah, and there's a lot of them. Yeah, we need a lot of farms. And I'm like, shit. Like, there's a lot of people out there on the grind. I feel like we don't think about farming enough. We actually don't. Nah. This oh. is my my take of the day. You, you see, there's the like world. massive plots of land for like two people to live on. Yeah, mm. they just get it cheap because they have a lot of sheep. Want, nobody wants to live there. <laughs> yeah, tr- it's really not close to anything. Who do you think's the most likely to become a farmer out of all of us? You, you, you. <laughs> really? Yeah, hundred percent. You'd like the chill vibes or something. You would literally enjoy the solitude, and your best mate would be a cow. I think the best farmer would be Jordan, though. He's optimal. Yeah, he'd be fucking grinding that farm shit. He tried to grow some grass once. How'd that go? Um, terrible. Yeah, that didn't work. At I don't all. think Jordan would just buy apples and try and on sell them, and that's his farming or something like that. <laughs> buy them from where? Uh, the, another farm. Another farm. I just keep Get buying them for two dollars and sell them for two fifty. Guys, that's, wor- he, that's what a supermarket is. Yeah, that's what Jordan is. He's not a very I'll good try farmer. to be a supermarket. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> around me. It would be the best supermarket. We're out of lettuce, though, aren't we? Have you heard that? Yeah, lettuce shortage. Yeah, we? we're always out of something. The farmers, they can't do it. Damn. <laughs> you got any more info on that one or the farmers just uh, gave up no, on no, lettuce? No, apparently it's been flooding or something in the east of Australia. Right. And so there's not much lettuce. I was like, All right. we went to get our burger, Holly and I, and then there was cabbage in it. Oh, yeah. That, and was, was it like, Subway that replaced it with Rocket? Oh. Yeah, cabbage, cabbage is not a fine substitution for lettuce. No, I think it was You can't be like, oh, sorry, out of lettuce. Anyway, I put some fucking dog shit in your sandwich. Yeah, like, well, well, it's not the same. I know it's... <laughs> dog shit is a bit more extreme a little than cabbage. Worse, yeah, little yeah. Worse. But like my point is cabbage and lettuce are pretty different. Yeah, we were they having are. Mexican. I went to take a bite of my burrito and then there was this big chunky Y thing in it and I was like, what is that? Cabbage turns Isn't out. Isn't lettuce in Mexican very Western? Maybe. I wouldn't know. Yes, I'm not it Mexican. Is, yeah, so you could have just gotten yeah, it out. Yeah. Anyway. No, it came with it. Bring so it. we were in Sydney uh, over the weekend. <laughs> yep. Now we're back. Uh, we did some underdogs filming. Uh, we went out. We went out the night after we did the last podcast. Oh, actually, yeah. that, was, that was pretty That's fun. That's right. Yeah, we went to a roast battle. Uh, oh, Jackson yeah. was the only one who didn't oh, go to right. that. I was thinking, I don't remember this. That, that'd be why. <laughs> uh, Jackson was meeting up with a friend, so us three went to a roast battle comedy was my night first thing. comedy show. Yeah, it was pretty. Your mid. first one ever. Yeah, I'd never been to one. Before. Oh, I'm Have so you? I'm so sorry. Comedy show or roast battle? <laughs> yeah, comedy, comedy, comedy show. I've been to. I've not been to a roast battle too. I'm so, Jordan. It was not it not was great bad. for the first comedy. They show were a bit. Not impressive. They were just a bit mid, weren't they? Yeah, they were. (laughs) It actually, classic YouTube has got us thinking, we should do a roast battle. (laughs) That should be the next Underdogs video. To be fair, we were thinking about it before. No, we mentioned that on the podcast because I was saying how you guys shut down all my ideas. And that was one of the ones that got shut down was the like the the roasting. But I've we've come to realise a roast battle battle would be a much better format for a kind of roasting style video. So 
I would like to get that in the works next time we need more underdogs video ideas. We've definitely I'll, got I'll a few. I'll be bringing that one back up. I'm bringing that one back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got any secret roasts that you've just been like waiting to get oh, out? Dude, they, they, I hold them yeah, in bubbling. every day. You know, like, you hold them in. Really? Because I feel like Christ, I, I feel like comes. I cop them. Guys, look at a fucking mirror. It's not that hard to roast yeah, you fellas. There's one already. <laughs> Jesus. I, I, look, Christ. I'm, I'm gonna talk myself up for this one. I think I can win a roast battle. I think I'm gonna win. Decide. Someone else does. There'd right? be a judge. Ooh, we had like crowd reaction for the one we went to. So like whoever cheered the loudest. You're not sure how we would do that apart from like maybe live streaming it and having a vote or something. That's pretty funny. I don't know, but I, I'm i confident. I'm confident. The comedy show is good though. You guys, if you're watching, you should go to a comedy show. Because even though it wasn't funny, I still laughed. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I still had a good time. It's like- it, What a like, review. It's just like the environment is funny. Like yeah. them not being funny, but you're just with your mates like having a bit of a drink and it's just- just have a laugh. Is there a more, is there a craft that more people watch and think, oh, I could do that than stand up comedy? Oh, I usually don't think I could do it, but these guys were not great, so I did think they I could were do bad. It. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I'm not doubting that, but I feel like it has to be no, one of the biggest. Stand up comedy seems so I can do. difficult. <laughs> Fucking podcasting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes, that podcast. is the medium yeah, where people are like, most people could do that. It wouldn't necessarily be. Good. Oh, you're saying oh, a ratio? I don't, know. I don't actually ratio. think that many people that think they're funny could podcast. Really? It's yeah. actually like we're pretty elite. <laughs> no, I so think funny. I think we're scraping through, but <laughs> <laughs> we're doing just enough. Stand up seems like one of the hardest things in the world. Okay, I feel like you'd be in the minority of thinking you would, that. You just have to cop it, right? I feel like there's like I feel like I've heard stand up say like the biggest thing they hear when they like, oh, I'm a stand up. It's like, oh, I've been thinking about doing that actually. Yeah, go on, and then you yeah. just like, and obviously eat it's way harder than you shit. think. Yeah, but I feel like a lot, a lot of. Uh, Arts things are a bit like that. YouTube would probably be another one. Yep. And you're like, oh, I, I could do that. And then you try and you're like, mm, it's actually But at least there's shit. a layer. Stand-up comedy, it's like, so you're my first YouTube video, right? Yeah. If I imagine that as my first stand-up comedy, just like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's the disaster? What do, you, what do you mean there's well, a layer? My first YouTube video was just like me talking, like trying to play Minecraft or something. Yeah. And it was just like complete shit. Yeah. But you just post it and you're like, oh, ah, not many views. Stand-up comedy, you're like, ah. Because the yeah, cow was... You have to do it the whole time. And not, then, whole time. Yeah. not many views compared to A Room for the People and, oh, not many laughs. Anyway, I'll try better next time. Not very. Not many laughs is like you're fucking dead. Brutal, right? You're never trying again. But if you get like 10 views on a YouTube video, you're like, oh, not bad. Yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. I'll improve. It has a bit more of a um, positive feedback. And it sort scales of with you. Whereas yeah. comedy is a bit you've thrown in the deep end. 100%. I, 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 I not any point if you're making your own YouTube channel are you just thrown in the deep end you know yeah. you grow with your audience so it never feels like you're uh, presenting to a large audience yeah definitely like I, I guess if like someone was like a guest on someone's channel for the first time they'd feel like yep. it's a big deal but like you know like Zach started his channel from nothing and so it's just like I don't know. I was on his channel from pretty early on as well. So it never felt like it was like, oh, I'm so nervous to be in Zach's video today. You know. Oh, I remember that the first time I was in a Zach video and the mic started going and I went, oh shit. It's a bit of a weird feeling. Oh, really? <laughs> Do you have to remember this I at all? I kind of remember that a little bit. A bit. Nervous. Did you guys have that? Yeah, you were no. acting very weird. I had to cut out all your racist jokes <laughs> that you kept, you kept making. No, I think way it was more just than a bit usual. Like, uh, way more than usual. I think it was just a bit of like, oh shit, it's actually nothing to buffer between me and the microphone. But, but there, there is. is. There's a layer no, there's of, a editing. Lot of editing. That is the biggest plus. I is... pretty much cut you entirely out of that video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. It was a solo comp posted <laughs> on Zach's channel. A special guest, Cogger, and then he doesn't say another word. I wonder if you can go see that video. I wonder if what I What video was it? Do you remember? <laughs> I feel like we all played together. I feel like that was my first what, video. What, Smashdown or something? Yeah. Oh, like oh, a three And we jumped off a cliff. I think that might have been no, my first video. No, you were around before that, surely. No, I don't think so. I'd be curious. The, the viewers will know for some reason. I had a I had a thing to talk about today, and it's related to YouTube. Yeah. But it's also completely unrelated to YouTube, because I want to oh, ask perfect. you guys <laughs> where you think you would be right now if YouTube just didn't exist. Like, if it was never a thing on your horizon at the slightest, where would you be, like, at this day in your life? Because... It's been years since we started Underdogs, right? Like two yeah. years. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so a lot of things could. So like, you know, where, where you were at then, Yeah. I would imagine is different to where you are now. A hundred percent. For me, at least I would hope so, you know, like, what, cause what? I was just like doing yeah. my trampoline coaching and stuff. Yeah. I would have like hoped I would like moved up, maybe change it up, maybe done something with my degree. What do you guys think you would have? I feel have... like for me, it's pretty easy. I would have probably just been a primary teacher because I was still studying would that you before. Would you finished by now? Like, yes, definitely. So yeah. you went to part-time? That's scary. Yeah. I went to part- <laughs> <laughs> I went to part-time when starting YouTube. And then currently if I went back and did like full-time, I would just have like a year left. So you'd be fully I finished have, by I now. I would have finished like How long three until that expires, by the way? 
Um, it expires and then they're just like, oh, we need to come back then. We'll just look at what you did before oh, okay. and we'll line it up with whatever sure. we're doing so now. it's not that big of a deal. Do you retain no. this knowledge? Like what if knowledge? I'm if I'm a year three <laughs> trying to learn like maths, you could just like pick it up? What? Do you remember how to teach shit? You're a year three. Oh, yeah. do you still have all the knowledge of the things that you are now teaching? Yeah. Yeah, like probably not. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You like, don't learn too can I, much. Can I hear an impression of Teacher Jordan? Because you did a few pracs, right? Yeah, right. Like right, you're, at the, we'll, you're at the we'll front of the class. Kids. Oh, okay. Do you, want us to, do you want us to sit on the floor in front of you and like um, I'll do it. Sure, oh, yeah, we'll all on. act like kids. So basically we don't listen to Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm folding up. I'm making hey, paper. Hey, said PP. Oh. Hey, Peter. <laughs> all right. Yum, 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 You're not my yum, usual yum. teacher. All right. I'm Mr. Ridley, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, and, uh, Mr. Mr. Ridley. Ridley. Oh, good morning, boys and girls. So today we're going to start it off with... A bit of maths. Yay. Oh, uh, no, wait. I wouldn't act like that. Yes, Peter. My my mum says that I shouldn't learn maths because my mum works at the hairdresser and then she had someone there who told her that maths is bad. Sorry, Peter, we got to move on. We got maths. Yeah, Jackson, yeah, okay, one more. My mum said the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you burst out laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> my mum paid $5 at the hairdresser and she didn't know All that right, it wasn't 30 because she didn't. the hairdresser didn't know maths. <laughs> So, so uh, far you've yelled at so all right, you bastards. <laughs> fractions! <laughs> fractions, am I right? Um, all right, good thing you're a YouTuber, I guess. Yeah, lucky <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. Mr. Weedley, what is a frac fraction? Uh, great question. What Have is a, a fraction? Look at the board. It's when you got a number yep. less than one most of the time. So... Everyone go subscribe to Papa One because he fucking <laughs> needs it. Oh oh my God. God. Everyone God. please subscribe. Oh, my nah, God. Now, well, the thing is... You find a lesson on the internet you and you prepare. look at it yeah, you beforehand. Mm. And I thought this was you to the class. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids, get your laptops out. How are good kids uh, who just do like the tractor stories where they just start like telling stories and you're like, I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. being a I checked out five minutes ago. Mate. Yeah. <laughs> being a teacher is definitely more about just being like, woo, good job, or like having patience and helping someone. It's I think, more about so like management of yeah, children than definitely. actually teaching, especially younger kids. Glorified yeah. So you're just a middleman between a YouTube lesson and the kids. 100%. Yeah, that's, oh, wow. that's really it. But uh, So you would be a teacher. So you think you'd be in a school? Like, you'd be, like, going? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Do you, like, I heard that we would like, be expelled, <laughs> fired by now. <laughs> Primary school teachers, apparently there's, like, super high burnout rates. Oh, de- I imagine so. Uh, that's why I think the number one thing you would need to be a teacher is just patience. Because just, like, little yeah. kids, like, yelling or, like, telling you stories or saying questions over and over. And that's kind of all you need to deal with. It's also the number one thing you need to be a doctor. Nice. 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 <laughs> and that's why we're the YouTubers. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Jackson, what would you oh, be I'm doing? Lie, I let out that far. Just I really don't so. know what I would be doing. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it doesn't get too bad around here. Am I be out of the shot? It doesn't matter. Oh, no, nah, you're in the shot. You're get out anyway. of the shot, dude. Okay. Go on. What? What would you be doing right now? Oh, um... I really, I really have no idea. I feel like I had the most ambiguous path at the time of Underdog's conception. Like you guys all, like Zach had a job, which we'll get to. I was just working at Woolies and writing, so maybe it would be. <laughs> what, working that? at Woolies and writing still? Yeah, probably. After two years. Who knows? Uh, what are you doing at the moment? Working at Woolies and writing and underdogs. And underdogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My life's not that different, really. Do you think you would have pursued anything? Um, like given anything in the vein of writing, or like a good crack? I probably would have got an internship at like, and done at a, like a, what's the, what's the word? a production company and done like a writing room or something instead. Whereas now it's a bit easier to get my writing out there because of the audience we have, which is handy. Yeah. That's probably my response. I really don't know. It's a good question. And I I think it would, uh, mine probably has the most different outputs. What about doing more stand up? That's also potential. I think I thought I was going to do that. Huh? Do you want to try stand up? No, for sure. But oh not yet. God. It's too scary yet. That is scary. I'll go do an open mic night with you. We should oh, all do it. Oh, that's definitely an underdog. Oh God. God. I, I feel like it, the underdog video puts way too much pressure okay, on Okay, maybe I just, just not yeah. with Jordan. Because <laughs> I, would, I would maybe like to try writing some jokes. Jordan to get the most laughs easily. Maybe. Oh, golly. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Oh, golly. When you don't know Jordan, if it's just like 
at an open That's mic true. night and there's just a the random part person about getting it, up. I think is you think, oh, I make my friends laugh, but you kind of know how to make them laugh. Yeah, yeah getting definitely. random people to laugh Fuck. is tough. I don't. Please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, that's what I'd be doing. The you need same confidence. Thing. I think that's what you need. For same your shit. One hundred percent. That's what I've noticed. Oh, it's I'm watching our right, I'm going to hit you with a too. really lame answer. Nothing would be different. I think if I wasn't doing YouTube now, I would have like, I would still be doing YouTube, but just I would have started it later. Do you? No, this is if oh, YouTube doesn't well, exist. Yeah, okay, if <laughs> YouTube exist. doesn't exist. No, but I'm saying like I think YouTube is so perfect for me that. If, if it did exist, I would eventually get there. But if it doesn't exist, I think I'd be doing something in sleep science. Because I was doing a sleep science uni degree. Oh, yeah. And it sort of took doing YouTube to for me to realize how much I liked making videos. Mm-hmm. And, like, filmmaking stuff. And I don't know if I would have realized that if I just, like, finished my sleep science degree, got a job being, like, a sleep scientist, doing, like, uh, some somnography polysomnography I don't fucking remember see in one ear out the other YouTube though. good thing I got YouTube <laughs> yeah. eh do you yeah I remember your um what was the word lucid dreaming cycle. oh no what I was no, gonna no, say no. It. No. Now, here's an interesting point I was watching a documentary about how to get better at things or whatever it was and do it in your sleep they um well basically sort of they put two groups of people and they said to both of them alright practice free throws they measured them before and then measured them after That's one actually thing, practiced and the other one just, they put him in a room told to think about practicing and they improved the same amount. Thoughts? What? I imagine it. Yeah. Because it's the same neurological pathway that is like acting out when you're doing it, if mm-hmm. you're doing it in your head. Dude, yeah, well. okay. Right? I've been doing a Fortnite video. It was my most recent video. Yeah. And I noticed, I was like, there was a night where I was falling asleep, but then I kept waking up. I can't remember why. Thinking about Fortnite. Yeah, thinking about no, but I vividly remember playing Fortnite as I'm falling asleep like, imagine, in my head. Imagine Holly in bed, just like trying to sleep, and Jordan's like Victory Royale. Oh, oh. <laughs> but it was like that's a real thing. I right? assume your neurons are always doing it. It's I called get that. Tetris effect or something. Yeah, it's an actual thing. They is found that because people would just see Tetris blocks falling? Yeah, and basically I've when games that used to come out. Dude, Guitar Hero fucked me up yeah. like that. Like you close your eyes going to bed, and you just can't help your mind going back to this repetitive I think game. Simple thing. looking game. Your brain finds it easy to like replicate. That was happening to me with Fortnite. I could literally just see Fortnite every time I closed my eyes. It was crazy. I've had that. Yeah, I've had that. It sucks. <laughs> did, you, did you get better at Fortnite after that? Yeah, well, every time I wake up, I'm always better at whatever game I'm mm. trying. I definitely notice that. Like, as yeah. soon as I wake up, I'm like, oh, okay, the connections have been made. Now I can do it. Explains why I'm uh, so good at sex, Jackson. Always thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he said, if you're thinking about something, you fuck get better did at I just it. witness it. Why did you two high five, though? Because he said wait, it he's and my I brought it up. Like oh, sex oh, with each other? Wait, what, the, what? Well, yeah, that's. I did know how he was. Because, yeah, so. like, uh, it's a joke. Where would you be, Peter? Yeah, good good segue. Um, yes. I don't know. It's hard because I was at a bit of a crossroads, crossroads of my own because um, Zoology. I was working at the, what's it called, trampoline park. Yeah. And I like I was doing like the coaching stuff. I became like the head coach of that. Do you place. remember at that time? Did you think I'll do this for the rest of my life? I thought I would move up in it yeah. for a while. You know what I mean? And like, dude, what's like the sort of where you were going? Or well, like for? I was hoping because like they have higher ups in the company who would like travel out to places and they would teach the coaching program that That's they would cool. write up yeah. to the like each uh, venue. Yeah, because like mm. it's like they've got a head office and stuff, mm-hmm. so they like they live in the head office. They go out to the different venues. They they make these programs. So they you would teach people. the teachers. Yeah, they like they fly you out to these places and then you teach these courses to people to then teach Damn. people. Yeah. Obviously, it wasn't like a one-step process, but I was like, I could see myself in a few years yeah. working towards this. Mm-hmm. But then it got to a point where they were like, we're looking for new, like, you know, higher ups, like supervisors. They're called team leaders there, but you know, same shit. We're looking for new supervisors. And then I didn't get the role. And when you're like in the process of moving up and moving up and moving up, yep. one thing that sets you back really just fucking knocks your block off. Like it really makes oh, you the rethink. First setback? Yeah, it yeah. really makes you rethink, is this what I want to do? Because it's like, damn, they don't want me to do that. Yeah. Like, do I really want to do that? Yeah. Like if they yeah. don't want me to do it, why do I want to do it? And then, then I was at a huge crossroads. Yeah. And so then like having to leave because of underdogs work picking up basically. Yeah, that's right. I was I was sad about it, but then I was like, this is not my forever thing anymore. So I was already at this crossroads, so I don't even know. Are I you honestly doing have no idea. YouTube? I can't really remember at the time. Yeah, I did about six months of overlap yeah. of YouTube and trampoline. And underdogs as well. E- 
When did we start Underdogs? Oh, had you started later. your channel? Probably like later. Like you'd established it a fair bit by that yes. point? I only quit when I was actually comfortably right. full-time. Same YouTube. here, though. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it's it's very hard to quit your job and, like, be like, yeah, YouTube will do it. Yeah. It wasn't like a jump. It wasn't like a leap of faith. It None was like, I'm already that, doing all right. Yeah. No, yeah. Were you, I was making more off YouTube on the side than my full-time oh, yeah. job during the day. And I'd, like, do my <clears> job during the day, then spend all night making a YouTube video. Yeah. And the YouTube video is making me more. And I'm like... But if Hang I could on. spend all day doing the YouTube, which I also like more. Yeah. So then, yeah, that was a very easy decision. I was like so madly on the grind because this is when YouTube uh, smash content was easy to make. Yeah. Uh, concept wise. Yeah. So like I could just like do like a Bowser and Elite Smash and I could record that one day and then edit it the next day yep. or a bit that day. But I'd also do a work shift on both of those days. That's crazy. And then, then I'd like get the video out yep. and I was doing a video every two or three days yep. Quick while turnaround. working yep. all this because it was so easy to come up with concepts then. So I that mean, was crazy. You could still probably do those concepts. I just think all of us find that fucking boring. They just do bad. Like oh, they just do I bad. Think it's a I don't know. You can both, right? nah. You can market anything. I reckon there's some legit, very creative ideas I could do that would do worse than me just being like funny thumbnail with like K rule. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Even even then, you didn't even need a particular eye catching thumbnail or title though. Like it's so hard to market them now, but back then it was so easy. I definitely agree. I feel like YouTube used to be a lot lazier back when Ultimate just came out because mm. it was hundred percent more way more, well, more people were just Smash looking YouTube. it up. Right? It's not just Smash; it's all YouTube. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Like back then, like think about what was popular ten years ago. It was fucking Fred and Smosh mouthing to the Pokemon theme song. Yeah, and that's the most popular video. And in the, let's in play the format. It's yeah, like, let's play oh, part forty five, oh, and plays. people would actually watch. Oh, unedited. It. Yeah, that's right. Unedited. Yeah. No marketing. Yeah. Let's play part. Yeah, forty five. No, no, nothing. And like now, it's you need the freshest ideas yeah. with the best marketing, best thumbnails, best everything. Yep. And um, I think that's something that our audience likes about the Underdogs Gaming channel. Sure. Is that it's like a taste of older YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys get what I mean? Yeah, hundred percent. Because like we, like sure we do try and do interesting stuff. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it is just four people doing a let's play. Yeah. You know, yeah. we, it's we, our personality. We don't market people. it like a Smash Bros. Ultimate Let's Play Part yeah, 150, yeah. but well, it we should. It might as well be doubles. called that, you know, like because honestly, we're just du- doing doubles. Yeah, again doubles half the time. 160 or something. But it's just shit. a bit fun. It's just a bit fresh. So I think uh, that's an appeal of the Underdogs Gaming Channel to some degree. Yeah, definitely. Explains why it's getting no new subs. We're but, you all know. YouTubers <laughs> at heart. I mean, except for Jackson, but yeah, you know, well, Dude, Jackson. Jackson what, are the, what are the questions you got for us here today? Oh, hang on. Hold the line. I thought that was something we can kind of riff off because it is interesting to think of. Maybe I would have looked harder for a zoology job at this point. Yeah, yeah right. Because your degree, yeah. Yeah. What yeah. Everyone likes to, everyone likes to think that they would have done like <laughs> something better, but I feel like Jackson I would still I would still be what? in my bone density job. Oh, Peter I mean, would probably still be a bounce sure. better than your like casual job, but yeah, Just likely like, I would still be doing it. I mean, the easy way. Out. Yeah, people like to keep doing what they're already doing. No, not many people like change. Yeah. Mm. What's the last big change you made? Mm, uploading less. Oh! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> what about you, Pete? Not intentionally. Last big change I made in terms of what? And in terms of your life. Quitting Bounce? Dun, dun. Mm. Oh, like, I life don't know. change. I didn't know what you were asking. I have no idea. I don't really know what you consider a life change. I think mine is meeting Maddie, if you can count that. Yeah, yours are probably just moving in with Sophie, right? Yeah, probably. Mm, yeah, moving out of this house. That's probably all of ours. Yeah. <laughs> My life's been pretty like similar since meeting Maddie. That's not e- that's better, almost, but it's almost not even a change, really, because you kind of like up. It's like upgrading what already existed. I just assume it's different living conditions if Peter yeah. is used to it with other people. Like, when's the last time you made an uncomfortable change? Is a harder question. Oh, you moved out of here. That'd be yours, Peter. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah, I was thinking that. Big but that change. wasn't really an uncomfortable change. It wasn't like it was oh, sad. Uncomfortable and all that. for me. Oh, yeah. like you, you feel like there's a bit of risk involved. Where you've taken a hit in order to yeah. do something. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Because um, that is more what Jackson talking about. Where people, uh, they don't. They just like doing what they're doing because yeah. it's not scary. That's why I don't really hard. consider moving out with your partner one. That but makes moving sense. out of this house kind of makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, but I even suppose. that kind of is imagine like imagine swapping evolution. me with your girlfriend. <laughs> Fucking cringe. Idiot. I imagine that every day. Oh, downgrade. Um, <laughs> dude. <laughs> What's yours? Get George? a question up, Jackson. I'm trying, I'm trying to find it, George. Get the fucking I don't know, question. Maybe my change from not doing any Smash Bros content lately. If that's a that's a big change. Bit of a thing. But uh, other than that, um, I wouldn't even know. Maybe we should all try and do some more things that make us a bit uncomfortable, hey? We what, can get the yes theory on. Well, we used to do the um, weekly change. Yeah. 
So something like that's always fun. Do you find that with any of those things that you, it sticks with you, or do you think like you're like, man, no. this is a good change to make, and then you drop it? Yep. I was watching the, the same video, the documentary I was talking about was talking about habits and how they build. Yep. And I th- I do find it interesting. As soon as you break one day, you're done for me with a habit. Uh-huh. But then you try again. Yeah, I guess. But I find that way harder. But, but like, just keep trying. With the yeah, phone, definitely. with the phone thing, I was like, man, not having my phone for two weeks was so epic. Yeah. I'm back to an addict now. You're back to the same you were. Like, I, I, I'm conscious of it, but I'm still an addict. At least you're conscious of it. Like, I wake up in the morning and I reach my phone instantly and I'm like, oh, this is bad, but then I still do it. Is, <laughs> is your screen time down? It's too addictive. Uh, probably not. At all? Do you check that? I definitely check mine. I never check it, no. I don't. I'd be too scared. Isn't it automatic for your phones? Mine just tells me. How do you check? Where do you see it? It just comes up. You guys got Samsungs? Uh-huh, Mine just comes up at the top of, nah. like every week and says three no. hours less than this week. Never says that. Where do I find that? Would you like uh, to reduce yours? If you could? I can. Yes. I don't have my phone to tell me. I can just do it. So you would reduce it? Maybe I will. <laughs> What's the fucking question, fucking do it, I Peter. Can't find these Throw your phone there. in the dunny. Well, he kind of did that, kind of. Not necessarily throwing in the dunny so much, but he did like, uh, you know, throw it in the. Beer. I'll make more of an effort. I'll make more of an effort. I will. I honestly, it's a good change. I, I like without po- all podcasting aside, I'll go back on it. I definitely find my phone is brings me the most unhappiness in my life. Out How of much have I it. looked at my phone this week? Thanks, Sorry. Jordan. So, you know, you can use your little fingers and you can ask it questions without yelling into the mic. Data's turned off. Oh God. <laughs> What you got, Jackson? Oh, nothing. I cannot find this question. Oh, man. bro. From the Patreon. Yeah, that's where I'm looking, man. Only five bucks for the Underdogs pod. And, you know, unless you're very cryptic, we should be able to find your questions. You, you two can submit ch- uh, questions for Jackson to not, to be, able not to be, find. be able to find. What's the bet I find them before, Jackson? No, I've got it up now. Jordan, you said you had, you had something for us to talk about this week. I do, but are we going to do... No, no, we'll come back to this they're, they're taking a hot minute. All righty. Okay, what was I going to talk about? Oh, right. Do the Queens keep spawning? Not the, sorry, that's a bit of a weird topic at the moment. <laughs> I just realised. But the ants, the ants, the ants. <laughs> so, I how think will the British people be born? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean keep spawning? Okay, because... Queen Elizabeth, zero <laughs> HP, better respawn. <laughs> that was the worst time. To yeah, the, it was. She's on the spectator really screen was. of our Prince Charles like, right now. Okay, two weeks ago I killed the Queen Ant. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude. The Queen Ant. You got to say the- it quicker. <laughs> Don't leave a pause where someone takes it out of context. Can you say a Queen Ant instead of the Queen Ant? Two weeks ant? ago oh. I murdered the Queen Ant. And it's like, well, why don't you just anyway, say it? There was another queen two days ago that ant. I killed. Queen Ant. Ant, Ant, Ant. And I, I'm pretty sure it's a queen because it's got a fat ass and it's walking around. And I. That's my queen. <laughs> yeah. I killed it <laughs> again. So do they just keep coming? There's they they will make another one if the one dies. That's messed up. Um, what I was think. I what was I going to say about? There was yeah, I don't really know much. about Maybe you're ants. mistaking something else for a queen ant. It's definitely, it must be a queen ant. Could I googled queen ant? Oh, okay, like okay. A, um, but I don't know what they're doing outside of their nest. Yeah, what was the ant doing? Well, because we've been it? killing them with poison. Yep. And every now and then, I the queen's walking around. And that, I but they're not going to be walking around. That's the thing. They Maybe always... they're looking for a new base. That's what I'm thinking. Bombed. And I'm stopping them from making new bases. Yeah, that yeah. seems good. Anyway, ants are kind of just robots, right? Yep. They're really dumb. Yep. And <laughs> They're like drones, basically. I wouldn't say robots, but like drones is oh, a good yeah, word. Oh, you mean like... and stuff. Have you seen that? Okay. They're very basic brains. They just kind of do what they're told to do by yeah. their yeah. brains. So I would can... say they're robots. So you can program them. So I'm thinking... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we program them ourselves? Yeah. Okay. What would you get? What would you have ants? Well, that's do? what I wanted to ask you guys. The oh, only thing nice. I could come up with with cleaning dust off the floor. I would get them to fill my car up with petrol <laughs> <laughs> because we all know how much I hate that. That would be good. Put my shoes on for me. Yeah. Bunch of ants just tying my shoelaces. Fuck, that'd be elite. I honestly think that they'd be really good for uh, collecting trash. That's what. That's the whole dust thing I was thinking of. Yeah, but think bigger than dust. They're pretty strong. Wait, Are so they? if they're collecting dust, that means they have to just sort of spread out over your house. Yeah, Would you be fine the with dust. them now that you've automated them? Oh, true. Because I guess if you have that many ants running around. It's like worse than dust. <laughs> worse what, than dust. what if you got them to clean your kitchen for you? Because they can get all the crumbs, take it back to their nest. Uh, we have no problem with that. We have a problem with them going into the stuff that they're yeah. not made yeah. for, right? So if you got them at night while you're sleeping to just yeah. do it. Oh, that would be morning. good. And then if they knew not to go into the cupboard or like into the, like any other places you don't want them, they knew you just come, get the bench, clear it off. 
you know, give it a little spray and wipe, get out of there, and everyone's happy. They get food, yeah, and we get a clean kitchen. That but how I'm smart are ants? Could we get them to like sort the recyclables? <laughs> <laughs> like, how, where where does it stop? Maybe are they going to put the soft plastics in the? With the regular plastics yeah. and the, re- oh, with the plastic bottles. Are you separating your soft and hard plastics? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I never put the soft plastics in the recyclables. What Does that go in the bin? Yeah. No, that makes your whole recycling bin fucked. I did not know They can't that. do it with soft plastics. Right. He, this is for you, for you West Australians because it's probably different everywhere. So yeah. anyone who's West Australian, you can take your soft plastics and they have these special bins outside supermarkets where they will get recycled. Yeah, 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 I've seen Otherwise, you've got to put it in your regular bin. Yeah, dude. I did not know you could not recycle soft plastics. I oh, learned you've all that stuff up, when mate. I was teaching primary really? school. Because now all the kids are learning it. Wait, so why can't you do it? Well, it's just not Because they're too soft. It's too soft. It's just not what they can filter through. <laughs> plastic right. lids. Yeah. You can't put that in. You know, bottle? bottle yeah, top? I knew that actually that somehow. In. I knew that you couldn't put plastic bottles. you got to separate the bottles There's and the so bottle There's so many lids. weird things. But the kids nowadays are fiends. Like They'll blow their nose on a tissue box. You've got to rip out On the, the tissue soft. box? Well, not... Yeah, you know what I mean. Tissues? Anyways, yeah, the tissues. Yeah. And then the box is now empty. you got to rip out the soft plastic bit where you pull the tissues oh, out. Oh, shit, you do too. Before you put it in a recycle. Oh, fuck. Oh, you, you know... You doing that, Pete. And no. if you don't do that, the entire recycle bin hey, just goes in a normal bin. Sorry, I just thought of a sick use of ants. Yes. If we still like that. Yeah, Haircut. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, one little, one oh, little, yes. one little ant could chew through a single strand of hair. And they all so do you get thousands of ants on your head. They're all oh. doing it at the same time. They all have their instructions. They couldn't you do just a buzz cut. They buy legendary. Nah, you say to the ants, you're like, uh, short on sides, leave a bit more length on top, and then the ants just oh. over your head. But they couldn't do like a skin tight. Shave. They could do a fade I'm sure though. They could. They, get so they could close. get pretty close. You reckon? I'd be worried think about the body. Well, blades man. are just an ant. No. <laughs> if you think Try about again. It, if you think about what it's doing, no, it's just what an ant could do. Blanker they could get the ants. perfect like perfect beard trim. They could like sh- shave your face. Oh my god! You're I think I trust an ant more than a razor blade. Because yeah. an ant is there, they're yeah. right up close, and they can see where the skin is. They can see where the hair is. Oh, okay. You trust an ant? Well, do you trust a, a human holding a blade? Yeah. Like if it's an ant program, they've got like a smaller, better precision. <sighs> Yes, but I feel a bit like the people that think Teslas can't drive, but I really don't <laughs> yeah. trust it. It's the I, illusion I don't, of know if, I don't know if I would have ants cut my hair. I'm just going to be honest with you. I really? feel like you take one look at like a person sitting there comfortably with ants all over their beard yeah. and their head, yeah. and you're like, I'm never doing I'm that. I'm not doing that. Just give me the <laughs> Even if it's the future, it's like, no. Nah. Have humans programmed ants at all? Does I'm sure know? that they could genetically modify them to do something, but I don't think it's simple as like putting the code in, right? Wait, so what are they doing at the moment? Like mushrooms, the I fungi I know that network, mushrooms, fungi. like, yeah, they convince ants to like get them leaves. If you think about um okay. mechanically, Jordan, how are you? How would the programming work? I think they might. you might spray some... some Use pheromones? Yeah. Mm, I was picturing like you leave a little tub of food out and that makes them want to clean the kitchen or cut your hair or something. Yeah, yeah but what, something how do they like know that. when to stop, you know? <laughs> Just they smear your hair with peanut butter. And you're like, come and on, then boys. Stand <laughs> next to an ant nest. I promise they will probably give you a haircut. Does the ants guarantee? combine to make a person? Didn't Could that happen in Rick and Morty? Yeah, a thousand oh, ants. A thousand ants. Really? Really? Yeah. I haven't seen it. Rick and Morty. Well, not yeah. That one. Oh, really? That's, yeah. Well, well that's, that, not that's fi- uh, non-fiction. The answer is no. <laughs> no it's real. <laughs> it's about as convincing as lion letters for the lions versus Pokemon. In the movie movie are just ants. things, right? They do that. Do Have they? you watched ants? And that is the pretty much the wiction-ary <laughs> of <laughs> ant no, ants behavior. Ants do this in the wild. They like build up a big tower. To yeah. Survive. So why don't they just build what we have inside us? Why would they do that? So they could be stronger. But they're already more efficient than us. I'd yeah. be more scared of a human-sized p- tower of ants exactly. than you An know, ant. that many ants just yeah, At that point, they might as well turn themselves into a tiger thing of ants. They could do that too, yeah. Why are hum- humans suck? Humans is not the best. The one. only thing and we have going for brain. ourselves is being smart. Yeah, oh, the so true. why don't they form an ant brain? So they should be an ant elephant is probably best. Is elephant the best animal? I think so. What it's about like crocodiles? Yeah, crocodiles you said the other way. Who would win, an elephant or a crocodile? Well, if it was a crocodile-sized... A- an elephant-sized crocodile... And what's the terrain? <laughs> <laughs> what stage are we on? Yeah. <laughs> elephant in the middle of the ocean? Probably crocodiles winning that one. Could a crocodile take down an elephant, you reckon? No way. Elephant would just stomp it. Wow. That's a big battle. We should get that on. I reckon at the zoo... We should get that on the podcast. They should have a Yeah, we ground. should. I reckon we get an elephant, get a crocodile, watch them fight it out. Could no half measures. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> Do you guys reckon a zoo would be better if they had a big middle ground? Yeah, if they had a fighting pit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that like animal abuse? No, well, it's just the wild, isn't it? Mm, no. No, because you're kind of instigating it. No, but it's big enough. What? Well, okay, <laughs> animals are in the wild anyway, yeah. so just make our own wild. Why don't you just go into go the, into the wild, wild then? Make our own because wild. So smart. That doesn't have, like, you could create an... Isn't this just what's like it called? A, a safari? No, no, no. What's it called? Enclosure? Have, uh, Enclosure. Environment? Enclosure. No, nah, no, nah, there's another word. Environment. No. Ecosystem? <laughs> ecosystem. You could, because our ecosystem couldn't support like a tiger, but you could make one that does. Okay. And then you could look at the tiger and it's like, wow, that's what it's actually That's what doing. a zoo is. No, nah, but the tiger just walks around. Get right, that's, into the pit. That's done. That's enough Jordan talking. I think that's that conversation about ants is over. Did you find the question? I know, but I remembered what I wanted to talk about. If What's we that? want to talk about Go it. For it. Okay. Go for it, big boy. Last night, I had a photography battle. What With who? Me and Brooke. All right, I'm going to explain the rules and I want us all to play and bring our photos next week. All right, okay. Which is not very good for a podcast, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. It's <laughs> terrible. As that came out of my mouth. Everyone, team, we only post this shit on YouTube at the moment. They can always just tune in for that We can just part. put it up on the top left. I'll edit it. We'll right. show it. We'll show so it. So basically you get a spot and you pick a spot to stand and then you have 30 seconds. The other person can't look. They take the photo and then you swap. The loser then picks the next location and you keep going. Very fun. Like... Is this out in the city? We did it at a house, but you could do it what? anywhere. But it was like, all right, first first round, start in the laundry. And then I was like, all right, I count a pick kitchen. Oh, I'm very make, good in the kitchen. Can you take any, <laughs> a picture of anything in yeah, that so area? You stand still and you have a 360 field of view. You can like lean, squat, Also, oh, you have a whatever. spot. You have like a, yeah. a starting and point. And you got to get the best what you're you taking. Yep. Yeah. Wow, I like it. This does sound fun. What were some of the winners? Uh, look, honestly, a lot of them weren't very good because you only get 30 seconds. You take one to camera yep. shot. That's it. So once I accidentally took the camera shot straight away and it was completely blurry, but there was some really nice shots because it was sun setting. There was like some sort of, uh, light seeming in through the windows. I'm thinking if there oh. were any winners, like mm, the orange at sunset in the fruit bowl. <laughs> no, nothing quite as fancy as you think. Outside was the funnest for us because there's the most to take How'd the photos How'd you come up of. with this? I just saw, I took a photo and went, that's the best photo. No one can take a better photo than oh, that. Oh, she's like, come <laughs> on. Turns then. out Brooke is a lot better at photography than oh, me. She was won. she the winner? Yeah, she was easily the winner. I think I took one winning photography photo. I think I'd be all right at this compared to you, you guys. You guys will have yeah, to play sure. it and let me know what you think. I think it is one of the funnest games I've ever played. Are you saying we should wow. play with our partners or with each other? We could, well, <laughs> underdogs video. But no, let's play Ooh. with our partners first to practice. All yeah. Right. Do you have an interest in photography, Jordan? Not really. Mm. Growing up, I thought I did, but no, I didn't. No, not really, Peter. Yeah, I'd say so. I enjoy taking a good photo. Yeah. Like, I'm not particularly good at it or I'm not pursuing it, but like, it's pretty satisfying to take a good one. I've never really thought about it, but there is a lot that goes into a shot. I know Zach's, exactly Zach's pretty good. Zach's a fiend. Uh, but like, I only really do photography because I got the good camera and yeah. then like got into it after getting cameras for filming. Yeah. But then it's like, oh, I got these good cameras. Like, I also should learn photography. Tried to... Tried to do that? Yeah. I feel it like is. I've gotten a lot better since... Uh, I used to think it was the biggest load of shiatsu photography. I was like, what are you even doing? Take the photo. I, I still <laughs> think that. Like, I know a lot of rules, but yeah. then there'll just Get be a, a photo camera. that breaks every rule and you're like, that's a nice photo. Yeah, I guess. So I there's know, no the rules, rules. But like the framing and stuff and the lighting, I find it fun. I know some very like basic, I, I say rules, but like, you know, things to make it look better. I say guidelines. Yeah. Yeah. And they do make for some pretty epic photos. Okay. Like, what are these rules? Um, I, need, I need some... Rule, of, rule of thirds yeah, is rule the of most thirds basic is the easiest shit. one. Okay. And that's basically you want to have the different on each third? <laughs> no, you want to have the, the key focus points yep. along the third lines. Oh. So imagine you split a picture into a nine, yep, you've got a nine grid, lines. like a three by yep. three grid. Yep. At the intersection points... Yeah, does that make sense? Like one, two, three, four points in the oh, middle. Can you shit. visualize that? That's where you want the points. Place yeah. your subject dead in the middle of one of those. <sighs> I'm gonna win tonight, and it'll like because that'll be like a third from the top and a third from Jordan, the side. You're gonna take notes so you can win. Yeah, mental. Or notes. a third from the bottom, third from the side, right. and it like it just looks nice. Um, another one is natural framing, okay, which is like beautiful. So if you're out and say there's a tree, yep, and that tree has like its trunk going up and yep. then a branch over the top, yep. Use this to frame the photo. I was doing this. I didn't know that was a rule. I was yeah. doing that Ooh. last night. And that'll give you some natural framing. Yep. And like that just makes the picture look, I don't know, if it, it professional. Yeah. Framed. And uh, oh. yeah. What else did we got, Zach? There's only two I know. What other tips have we got, Zach? I need oh, to no, win that's... tonight because I got belted last night. Boys. That's most <laughs> of it. That's, wow. the, that's the hardest one. So rule that's of like thirds. One. I probably can't remember all the other shit. I'm going to try and find a photo for you, Jackson. Do you think it's very intuition photography? Like you like get a better feeling of what's going to be a good photo? Yeah, sometimes I'm like, uh, it's especially annoying. 
I feel like I like I'm the annoying one. I'll say to Maddie like, "Oh, can you take a photo of me here?" Yeah, and then she'll get it like maybe a centimeter not where I want it to be, and I'm just like, so this, looks like "This looks like shit." And then like I'll frame it up of her and I'll take it, and I'm just like, "Do exactly this." Looks- this. <laughs> no, it's not the exact same photo, but it's yeah. very slightly different, yeah. and I'm like, "This looks way better to me." Can she but it's tell like- that it looks better, or is it your opinion that it looks better? Uh, like she's she's pretty good at okay. this sort of thing, but if there's like a certain thing that I want, yeah. And then it's like, and it's a bit off. Then yeah. I'm just like, nah, not framed well. So yeah, Jackson, like, here's a photo. Like All right, here we go. Here's a photo I took of Sophie. This is pretty good natural framing, if I do say so myself. Yes, that is. That's I'll show great the camera in a second. Framing. Wow. I showed you this one already, Zach. Yeah. I'll show That's the a good photo. Okay, so the photo is Sophie standing in the bottom right at that uh, one, two, three, four point, and then there's natural framing with a tree. <laughs> tree. Any focus? Any focus is here? Oh well. You can see there's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> the other thing that is good with the thirds that you did there is like, it's sort of like a third grass, then there's her in the lake, and mm-hmm. then there's like the trees up the top. You did the vertical oh. thirds as well. So it's like, that's another thing you can do with the thirds. It's like have the horizon or like different textures. So you think you'd up. back yourself in to win against Maddie? Yeah. But yeah, honestly, rule of but thirds, you can do in any photo you ever take. I'm going to do it. I'm going to win so Like natural framing, tonight. a little harder to do. Oh, I know. I remembered another one. Here we go. I did photography in like year nine for like one, <laughs> one, oh, one, I did one photog- term. Photography for two years. Um, leading, leading lines. <laughs> okay. What's that? So like if there's a path that can lead to your subject, oh that can be God. really good. So like if, if there's anything like a, like a, Anything that's a line, it's like a similar path. to the framing, except more going to the subject. Yeah, you right? want it to like you know be wide in the foreground, going towards your subject. Wow, okay. Wherever you want the eye to be drawn, yeah. Yeah, I don't know this shit. You don't oh, know this damn. at all. Nah, I feel like I'm more of just a like I know what I like. He's a freestyler. Yeah, I did photography in high school, but it was a bit of a joke at our school. It was just a class you could do because it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go out run and take the pictures, yeah. and then we'll just play basketball. <laughs> but you could take <laughs> pictures. Photos of basketball. Yeah, we will yeah. take pictures as we play basketball. Like, yeah, see, yeah, we nice. did it. We did it. We did it, teacher. We did it. Yeah. yeah so yeah. will you play tonight? What? Will everyone play before next week? Hopefully, if I remember. I will attempt to. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see. Yeah, you if you remember, message it. All right, I'll put it in the chat tonight. And I think it's gonna be huge. Jackson, I'm just going to show you one more picture. This Game is another changer. one with the rule of thirds. Okay. It's quite subtle, but it's oh, just better than it's in on the, the dead the center. bottom left one. Yeah, it's, it's on like oh, the wow. third, third. See, I would always try and do dead center. Yeah, yeah now don't like do that. that. So what does that do? Why does it it's work? It's just more interesting looking. No, nah, you don't know why it works. It's just, it's just like you look and you're like, oh, that's nice. You like it's that. just compared I, to like... It's legitimately just more interesting looking. Is it because of Fibonacci or something? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's just what human eyes enjoy. Maybe enjoy. because it's not right in our focus. We're like, oh, I want to see that. <laughs> By the like, way, that photo, anyone, right anyone listening, it was yep. a picture of a sea urchin on a beach. Whereabouts was that? Shark Bay? Uh, no, that was down south, uh, Dunsborough, when I was there Ooh, recently. Oh, clean. Really nice. We I went there just after it was a big storm. And a beach combing after a storm is so sick. Okay. Like, there was like, you know, because... Everything gets ripped off the bottom of the ocean in the storm and then it gets washed up the next couple of days. Sure. So there was like, you know, sea sponges, sea urchins. I found an octopus in a little pool and stuff. Like there was so much stuff there. And I was there by myself because this is while Sophie was at work for the day because that's why we were down south. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And I just had a whole day to myself and I just went beachcombing and I went on a hike to a waterfall. I had the most serene day. It was was amazing. It was really good. I actually really like, I don't really like going to the beach at all. I know you guys, or some of you do, Zach does in particular, go to the beach. Yeah. Like not, more than, not more than these guys. Oh, Peter likes no, the beach. I do. I don't really like the beach, but I love when you go beach combing and you just find the shit. I have never heard of that word until right now. Neither have I. Beach I'm using com- it. And I think <laughs> I used it pretty well. Oh, really? it it's just where you go and find like interesting shells yeah, and yeah, yeah. stuff. But like, I highly recommend after a storm, go to a nice, after a storm. That makes sense. nice secluded beach. Mm. It's really good. Oh, the rock it. pools. It's just so relaxing and yeah. you just see nature. Yeah. All right. Allow me to shake things up a little bit right now. Someone has asked us. Oh no, it's the fabled question for me and Peter to debate this topic, Ooh. and I'm going to let you guys choose who's on which side. Okay, another debate like last week. I yes. had a lot of fun Let's with going back to back. Me and Peter didn't actually verse last week. I think no. Nah. So is this, this is, the grizzly is bear exciting. One? Fighting ten chicken-sized grizzly bears yeah. or one bear-sized chicken. Are they at the same time? This is what is better for us to fight. Yeah, are they at the same time? Um, Should we say yes? What do you mean? Lost, what was do you question? fight one by one? The no, ten? no, no. You fight all ten at once. Yeah, okay. Do you fight ten chicken-sized grizzly bears? Yeah. yeah. Or, or one, one bear-sized chicken. All right, Zach, you think the one bear-sized chicken is better, and Peter, you think the ten 
uh, grizzly chickens are the better. All right. It's better for us to fight. Like yeah. it would be easier to fight that one. So I, just I, I was the ten. I'll start. Yeah. Yeah. You want to fight the one? Go. Have you ever been scratched by a cat? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, and actually. it fucking hurt, didn't it? Yes. Oh, well, I'll tell you what a cat is roughly the size of a chicken, and I'll tell you what has very sharp claws and is very good at fighting a grizzly bear. Yeah. Now imagine ten of them coming at you at once. Ten chicken-sized grizzly bears. They all have sharp claws, and I would argue that. Even shrunken down, those claws are going to fucking hurt. Yeah. Grizzly bears are very good at climbing. They're climbing up your thighs. They're clawing out your eyes. And there's oh, 10. Right. And, there's, oh, and there is I'm 10 hooked. of them. Yeah. So I reckon you're fucked. If you know Jordan and I as a judging panel, we love rhymes. We love rhymes. Thanks, yeah. for, thanks for playing, Zach. That's an extra Brilliant point. work. Now, you see what my opponent's done here. He's going for the classic act of misdirection. Instead of talking about the problem of fighting a grizzly bear-sized chicken, yep. he's just talked about how mine would be pretty bad. Yep. Which, both of them, admittedly, would be hard, and I don't want to be in either situation. But ch chickens, you know, they peck, they're big. Mm. The weight advantage is ridiculous. Yep. If you think about the weight advantage of a grizzly bear-sized thing versus 10, you know, chicken-sized things, yep. 10 chicken-sized things, they're not going to weigh as much as you, no matter what happens. Yeah, yeah, like, they, they're going to be maybe 10 of those... I, I'm going to guess 40, 50 kilos altogether. You still have yep. that weight advantage, which I think is extremely important. Sure. Yet the grizzly bear sized chicken is a absolute chonker. That is a problem. <laughs> Any a animal point. of that size is a huge threat. People talk about how like hippos is the most dangerous animal in Africa. Yeah. Not because they have sharp claws, like Zach's trying to say, not because they have sharp teeth. They They're don't. just fucking large. Yeah. And I think that their weight factor is a huge factor here. Look, it would be hard fighting either. I will admit, yeah. but I think that, Mine is slightly easier just because you can swat them away one by one and that weight advantage is so big. <laughs> Peter's point was better, but Zach rhymed. Which is making you very tough. Oh, no, nah, I'm going to go with Peter. Yeah. But I also think that yeah. is just the actual answer as well. Yeah, well I, for I forgot about the other side. Argument. Oh, true. Yeah. Okay. Dude, it's got literally me. after I finished my argument and then I was like, I thought like, what would a grizzly bear sized chicken be like? And I hadn't even thought yeah. of that. I only thought of my side. <laughs> then I thought of it and I was like, fuck, one peck from a grizzly bear sized chicken will probably <laughs> take feet, your heart dude, out. The feet would kill you. The massive claws on the feet. Yeah. Oh, that sounds hard. No, I didn't even think of that. Well, I don't I know how you start taking that down. I don't think it's I like, know. I think they would both suck a lot. Oh, yeah, but I yeah. think. Because you wouldn't be able to run. It would be so fast. Oh, chickens are quick, chickens aren't they? Chickens are fast, and if it was grizzly bear Shit. size, it's flying for you. They can get a bit of air time. Yeah, they can fly a bit. Not yeah. one of that size, it couldn't, no way. No, but it's <laughs> proportional. Flight is not proportional. Is it not? No. That's oh, why wow. ostriches can't fly, right? Is that uh, true? I'll have you look straight at Peter. I, <laughs> I think ostriches have I other reasons. I just learned this right now. So if a bee was 10 times the size, it might not be able to fly. It kind of makes Probably, sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because, wow. Um, the laws of physics apply differently at different scales. Does that mean if you made a massive paper plane, I suppose it's not flying, it's kind of gliding. It'd probably, probably just like sag because yeah. of the weight. It's, it, it, the reason of this, this is like real nerd shit. Oh, wow. It's because volume to surface area changes as things change different size. Yeah. So if you think about it like a... Uh, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. So like something will be a lot heavier, but Forward it'll have surface less area. surface area. That makes sense. So yeah. like it'll just fall more easily because it won't have as much lift. That makes sense. Yeah. It's all, it's all about volume to surface area. Almost, there's a lot of this stuff in biology, by the way. That makes sense. That's why cells are small. Right. Because physics doesn't apply to them the same way. Oh, it's so clever by cells. Yeah, they're, 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 they're the size bastards. they need to be. That's Absolute, like, absolute win big. by cells. Yeah, yeah. sometimes this nature does something and you're like, well done, mate. It's bloody brilliant. <laughs> well played. That out? It's also why cells are... I would have made cells round. big like an idiot. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. Jordan, do you have a question of the week or was that the Queen's? Uh, that was a bit of the, the Queen situation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Is there yeah, a King yeah. B? A King Ant? There a king, yeah. No. Just, Just Queen's. And queen's all the a bit of a slut, to be honest. Yeah, and all the guys fuck the Queen. Really? I don't think all of them. But she has multiple partners, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Talking about Queen Ants, just in case <laughs> takes it out of context. And so then when, not being when a, the Queen dies, who chooses the next one? Queen Ant. Yeah, okay. The queen when the Queen Ant dies. dies. Um, uh, it's I don't know how that works. <laughs> it's an election? I don't know. <laughs> I uh, think you. And it's, then it bloop, it's, it's, hard to, up. it's hard to talk about this because it would be different for so many different species. Oh. So I, I honestly can't say in any Do you know about any of them? Not really. Nah. Surely one of them is just RNG, right? And you just start blowing up. Yeah, I think that they might. Um, honestly, they they might notice the queen has died, and then they will stroke a specific like maggot in a certain way, feed it in a certain way, and sure. it will grow up into a queen. Jesus Christ! Yeah, because that would be my guess. But honestly, don't. Uh, did you guys see my tweet about the guy who? Uh, used something yeah. that he thought we said on the podcast. Don't use that in your assignments. Oh, assignments. oh well, yeah, you definitely don't do that. that. Let me let me tell a story because not that many people have Twitter. Someone uh. 
Apparently, they remember me saying that something about dolphins yep. mating with multiple males so that they get protection of multiple males. Yeah. I have not said that. We need everyone in the comments on this, by the way. Who anyone, slipped yeah, up and said if that? You it's remember probably Jordan, this, but let any, us know. No, I don't think anyone said that. I think it would have been either Jordan saying it because he heard it in a documentary. I've Someone never thought that. that. What was the but, fact that they thought you said again? So what, they dolphins thought, are sluts. They thought that they thought. one of us said yeah. that dolphin, a dolphin female will mate with multiple males to get protection from them from, I don't know. Sharks. I don't really, I don't, yeah. Other dolphins, sharks, I don't know. Apparently that was like a benefit of, uh, what's it called? What's the word for when you sleep with lots of people? Uh, polygamy. In, in polygamy. Animals. I don't oh, know. I don't know. Anyway. Polygamy stality. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, that, you can't deny Nothing of the word is going to piss right. me off. Anyway. Could be right. Apparently they thought that was a fact that we said on the podcast, wrote it down in an exam, and now their teacher saying to them, if you can find the source of this. Let's just write it and say we're the source. We, can we, we're not... Peter, just say Written. it now and they can retroactively send it to their I'll teacher. I'll do it. I'll do it. Right. What was it? No, it doesn't. That's not how scholarly <laughs> dolphins, references work. Dolphins can I hate it have multiple partners, particularly the No, female not partners, ones. just sex. Um, dolphins will have lots of sex to- Promiscuity. Uh, dolphins Only will females. Be, female dolphins will be promiscuous to get more protection. From who? From predators. Wait, do they use more protection? No, you, or I, they- I, I, no, they go in raw. Okay. <laughs> Female fish. dolphins will raw style. dog multiple males yes. in order to oh, yes. get Do protected. Do dolphins use protection at all? Absolutely not. No. I know monkeys use frogs sometimes. Have you seen that? No, they don't. It's pretty brutal. Wait, well, really? They, they, they don't. That? Have you seen that video? Don't you see saw this? That? It was definitely <laughs> Jordan who said that because he spouts this shit like it's fact. Wait, so like a, co- a frog condom? Jordan's watching fucking Cartoon <laughs> Network the night before and then coming in with science Has facts. nobody seen the video of the frog? Wait. And the monkey. <laughs> why Why am I paying for latex when frogs are free? Yeah, hang on a minute. Go on. What yeah, happened? they're at the park. There's what loads happened? of them. He and it, bit and ribbed. he opens his mouth and he... Goes to town. Yeah, but is he using it as protection? No, he's just jerking off with it. Oh, true. true. So it's good. See, you've said this thing like it's a fact. Oh, and I re- now people have gone written this in their exams. But if he ties the hands, it could stay on. I literally remember this because there was a statement thrown around by me saying the monkey got its chode blowed by a toad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember that? I remember yeah, that. Yeah, that's yeah. how I know we've... We've talked about it before. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to say this dolphin thing was definitely Jordan, and it's not my fault. Someone, f- If someone knows what podcast that was from, please link it. I Is feel there like any th- danger of it being us, Zach, do you reckon? Nah. No. I think it's like Jordan. 85%, maybe even 95% Jordan. And 10% for- not true, because I definitely didn't oh, say yeah, that. Oh, yeah, no, I forgot about that. There's probably 50% chance that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. I think there's most, like, 80% chance know, it didn't Jordan happen. I Jordan just said that <laughs> monkeys use frogs as protection, so I'm not really anything else. that out. might be... You yeah, know. maybe maybe this viewer was just having some nuts dreams, <laughs> and he was like, "What did what did they say in the underdog podcast?" Really, it was his own brain. Worst way to out yourself. <laughs> uh, no, I must have seen it in a dream. <laughs> this female dolphin having sex with a bunch of males. What a dream! Oh god, she woke up sheets all yeah, fucking what kind of dream. Oh, they were crusty. <laughs> Isn't the term nocturnal emission fucking hilarious? Yes. Is that nocturnal a wet dream? Emission. Yeah, dream. Nocturn- that's what a wet dream is. That's the I've official never term. Had a wet dream. Have you guys had a wet dream? Yes. I think I've Growing had one. Up. I think I had one as I well. I think I had one, yeah. Mm. Oh, boring. Who needs them? Got to it too early. You can't, Jackson. You wank too much. It's not Nothing true. left in the tank. <laughs> not true. I deny the allegations. Well, yeah. surely, otherwise. Oh, no, wait. he's too busy getting laid, bro. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that part. Respect. Nice. Anyway, that will probably be the end of the regular <laughs> podcast. Well, there is going to be the extended Thanks edition so much for, your time. for the patrons. By the way, did we mention we're all pretty fucking tipsy because we just did a drunk cooking video? Yeah, yeah they might have figured it what out. What a great time to mention. I'm we're doing, a we're doing the podcast to kill time so we can drive home because we are not okay right I now. I think it was somewhere between slutty dolphins and chode con- toad condoms. <laughs> chode toad condoms, yeah, yeah, yeah. That we uh, figured that out. But oh, anyway, I didn't notice, did you? Thank you very much for watching. Yes, end the podcast. Peace.